All right, guys, today we're going to do a little bit of wheel tape, rim tape. I got some fluorescent green rim tape from Pro Tape. Comes with the tape, of course, enough to do both sides of both wheels. And they also include this applicator. And the applicator just kind of hugs on the wheel feed the tape through and turn the wheel and it automatically applies it as it goes around nice and uniform. First thing we need to do is to clean the surface so we get good adhesion. Now I've already roughly cleaned the wheels with a general purpose cleaner. And what I'm going to do now is go back over it with denatured alcohol, something I've got on hand here to really make sure that it sticks. So we're going to do that real quick. If you do any kind of painting or body work on your own, you're not a professional, denatured alcohol works extremely well for really cleaning surfaces. It evaporates super fast. Does a really, really good job of prepping up for stuff like this. Pinstriping, painting. All right. Yeah, even after I degreased it earlier, you can see how much the alcohol even got off. This is probably going to be the dirtiest side because of the chain slinging dirt and grease. And this is what I used. Can pick that up at most hardware stores and tape one thing I don't know about is how well that this green is going to match the green on the frame from the Z650 it's going to match the uh, neon lights I put on very well but I guess we'll see okay so this says enter so I'm assuming it goes in like this with the white protective side up. And what we're going to do is peel it back. Maybe. Now, when you start it, it's not going to be perfect. But what we can do is peel that little bit of crooked spot off as we go. Got a little bit of a foobar there. A little bit of an egg shape, but it's alright. Oh yeah, I gotta trim this side off. It's not too bad. All right, let's do the other side. Again, I'm going to hit this up real good with denatured alcohol. Make sure we get a nice clean surface.
Yes, that's not as bad. Still ended up getting quite a bit off. All right, here we go. trick is to keep nice steady pressure and keep the slack pulled back on your tail that comes off on the paper that lets it separate a little bit easier keeps it from getting hung up and we're almost back around Getting a few little curly cues here coming off, so I need to be careful. Got really tough there for a second. Okay, now I'll take my scissors. I'm going to pull that. I've seen people use a razor blade, but good sharp pair of scissors. Because it's already started in the right place there, and overlapping is perfectly fine. Kind of piece it together. And we'll clip this little tail off. Not bad. A little bit of an egg shape right there, but not bad. Okay, well, I decided that uh, I really don't like how this green matches the bike. So instead of how to put on wheel tape, this now is going to become a video on how to remove wheel tape. All right. I've already taken it off the front. It's not that bad once you get it started, but because I cleaned the wheel so well, it is really stuck on there. Once you get a little tab going, just peel it nice and steady and consistent. I think what I'll do is try to find a color that better matches the frame. I don't know how well the color is going to show up in the video, but it's nowhere near the same green as the frame. It matches the neon lights really well, and it looks good as long as the lights are on. But if you're riding in the daytime, it looks really tacky. And I stood here and stared at it. And talked about what I could do to make it tie in. Maybe get the Z on the front cap. That covers the ECU and the fuse box. That little Z decal. Maybe going to the vinyl shop down here and seeing if they could cut me one to go over that. To kind of do a tie in. But it's just a little bit too green for this bike. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can find something different. So, there we go. It's off on this side. Let's see if we can get it off. So, I went by the race shop yesterday and talked to the guy from Superbike Unlimited. And these guys are top notch. I mean, they, they aren't just like a dyno place that sells bike accessories and things like that. They really don't uh, do walk-in people. Their primary goal is to build race bikes, track bikes. Dude, their bikes, holy crap. He showed me a few that they were building for some other race teams and customers and stuff like that. Good lord. 
but uh, he he's really excited about doing this bike as soon as the performance parts come available. We're going to get a block off plate and block off the smog so we can do an accurate dyno. He's going to let me video and do the whole dyno experience. Um, he said there should not be any problems with that. So I'm going to have all that information for you guys and you're going to get to see this Z650 being dynoed and tuned and tweaked by an actual sport bike race shop. That should be freaking awesome. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. And uh, if I can get on their Wi-Fi and get a good connection, I will probably live stream that. So as soon as the parts come available, you know, we're actually, I don't want to go too overboard with this bike. I mean, it's not, not going to be a track bike. It's not a super sport. I'm not trying to make it a speed demon. But when we do the, any performance to it, I want to make sure that the air to fuel mixture and all is good. And that's basically what we're going to do. We're going, I have decided to go with Yoshimura, um, the IXIL or whatever, Ixil, however you want to say it. Um, can't get any numbers from them on, you know, how much it costs for how much horsepower and torque I'm going to gain. And Yoshimura has been up front, and he's that's what he runs on his race bike, and he said that's probably the best bang for the buck I'm going to get. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put the Alpha Series on it. He sent out a few emails to see if he could go ahead and get one sent to us. And, uh, yeah, man, we're going to test and tune this bad boy. He, uh, he can't remap the ECU as it is, but once we change the exhaust I'm probably gonna put the exhaust and everything on block off plate myself do a how-to video for the rest of you guys that want to do it and then I'm gonna take it over and we're gonna put it on the dyno see how it runs um, and see what we need to do if I have to put a fuel controller or not on it that'll be beneficial for everybody else to know whether or not that you could buy a particular exhaust and not have to worry about putting a fuel controller but I have a feeling that I may have to, just because this bike seems like it runs a little bit lean to me. But we'll see. I'll keep you guys up to date when I get more information on that. 